Let's take a look at which fraction here is larger, one third or three fourths. So does one divided by three or three divided by four give us a larger number? There are two ways to do it. The first way is we want to find a common denominator for both of these fractions here. If we have the same denominator, then we can just compare the numerator to tell which is bigger, one third or three fourths. So let's do that. I know that three and four both go into 12, so I could multiply three times four. I know that gives me 12. And then four times three, that also gives me 12. That would give me that common denominator. But I can't just multiply by four. I need to multiply the top and the bottom by four. Because four divided by four, that's one. So I really haven't changed the quantity, just the way it's represented here. So now I multiply one times four, and I have four twelfths. That's the same thing as one third, because we just multiplied by one. On the bottom, I'll multiply the top and the bottom by three. So three times three is nine. Now I have nine twelfths. Again, that's equivalent to three fourths, but now we have that common denominator, and we can compare the numerator, nine to four. Nine is bigger than four, so three fourths, that's bigger than one third. We could also divide one by three, or four by 12, and get a fraction. We get 0 0.333, threes they'd repeat. Down here, nine divided by 12, or three divided by four, that gives us 0 0.75. 0 0.75 is a lot bigger than 0 0.33, so three fourths, that's bigger than one third, just like we found before. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.